Welcome everyone to the Mike on a Mike show. I'm your host Mike Flinty. We're here at Centerpoint Theatre in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada and right behind me is Tom Green from Ottawa, now living in Los Angeles, doing his own show on TomGreen.com. So Mike's going to be interviewing him. I'm going to be filming. But you know what, we're going to take pictures with him after and you know, get some autographs. He's just greeting uh, people right now, shaking hands, uh, signing autographs and all that kind of stuff. Well, we're the only media here right now. I mean, Rogers is outside. So we kind of got the exclusive shots right now. So this is big for Mike. This is big for me because I loved his movies. And every movie he was in, he was in like, Freddy Got Fingered, uh, Charlie's Angels, Road Trip was a really good movie as is. With the snake, that was an epic scene. Everyone wants a piece of Tom Green right now. That's how hot he is in Ottawa right now. And I'm here with Tom Green. How you doing, Tom? Hey! Hey, man. Yeah, awesome. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming to the show, man. Good times. Good times. Rock and roll. I love your camera there. love your microphone. It's, uh, you know, you got to make sure you leave the switch flipped up, you know, if you flip it off. Flip it up. If you flip it up, you can hear me, but if you flip me, you can hear me. So, uh... We got it at Best Buy, actually. Yeah, it's good. It's a great camera. It's good to have a, good, a microphone. Uh, and uh, you got your shirt on. It's Mike. What are you guys doing? Yeah, we're, you're, you got your show. It's a web show, is it? Yeah, it's uh, well, Ottawa's number one web show at the moment. And we... Oh gosh. Our niche, is, our niche is a nightclub scene. I've got the number one talk show on the internet. you got the number one talk there show in Ottawa. We're both number yeah. one. These, of course, are uh, manufactured facts. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. And we're having a lot of fun doing I'm that. I'm in the nightclub scene too these days. Yeah. Getting wasted. Yeah. <laughs> not so much. Not so much uh, video or TV for that. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to drink? Whiskey. Like whiskey sour? No, just straight whiskey. Really? Yeah. Do you get angry when you have whiskey? No, no, I don't know. <laughs> I actually uh, got kicked out of the TV broadcasting program. Really? At Algonquin College? At Algonquin, yeah. Man, I can't see why that would happen. You're out here doing TV broadcasting. Clearly, you're into it. You're enthusiastic. And why'd you get kicked out? Drugs? Nope. I, uh, <laughs> I was doing this, and I was doing this inside the college, trying to promote the program. And uh, I failed one class. And I, had t I got the love letter, so I wasn't invited back for the second year. You can always go to another college, mm -hmm. or you could uh, just keep doing your thing. Clearly, uh, you... Um, have an interest in this. Of course. And uh, you know what? Maybe you should just, you got t-shirts. Exactly. Maybe if you had the t-shirts, you wouldn't have got kicked out of college. Maybe. Yeah, maybe you should have done that sooner. That's true. Yeah, maybe Ron Cormack, if he saw you walking around with a t-shirt and a gold chain, he's like, this guy's got a future in this business. Maybe yeah. we got to keep him in the program. Yeah, he's pimping, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you, maybe you could go back and ask him to be uh, readmitted. Maybe. Yeah. If I wanted to. You learn to kind of play the camera, right? So the b microphone, right? So you learn to play the microphone, you talk to someone, they do that. Yeah, what's up? The other thing you learn to do is you can actually control the conversation, right? Okay. So, like, you can control the conversation. Like, if I wanted you to talk, I could just say, hey, how you doing? So you tell me when to talk, kind of thing by doing that. You're saying? <laughs> Pretty much. So I just have to keep talking because you have the microphone in my face. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I don't say anything, and I hold a mic in your face, and the natural instinct of a person is to just keep talking. And your goal as an interviewer is to get someone to keep talking. So you don't even have, sometimes you even have to ask a question. But like if you ask a question on top of it, and then you do that with the microphone, then you're golden. So it's like, you know, uh, was there something else that you did other than just interviews in the hallway, and other than failing that one course that you think got you kicked out of the program? Yes, there were other things that I did. What were those things? Well, I uh, had a girlfriend, so I did her. As well, um, I had a lot of hobbies on the side, playing Halo on Xbox, uh, hanging out with my friends, uh, chilling like a villain, uh, pimping in the 613, you know, that kind of stuff, Tom. You know, you know how it is. Yeah. So you see when I hold the mic there out of your mouth, you just keep talking, and then I bring it back. I'm and I talk. But the thing is, the thing is, you weren't showing up for class, is that what it was? Um, I missed a few classes to interview Max Keeping from CGOH. Uh, as well, I was on the Jumbotron at Scotiabank Place for six, for a Sens versus Leafs game, which we lost 5 nothing or 5-1, which really sucks, but that's... It's an important detail. So, I hear you got kicked out of Bayshore once. I did what, get kicked out of Bayshore. That's I've been kicked out of every mile in the city twice. Really? Yeah. And you went back in? I got kicked out of Bayshore. At the time I recall, it was for lying down on my face and not moving for an extended period of time until they called an ambulance. Did you see Marvin Lara try to copy that stunt? The guy from Rogers, your screen test? I didn't, but you know, this is, I used to do this a lot. I would go up, I'd be, in, I'd be somewhere, and I would go, I'd be walking along by myself, and I would stop and I would go like this, and I would lie down on my face. No, don't get down here. I don't want you to get down here. I'd lie down like this. 
That's awkward, eh, Tom? And I just wait. <laughs> and people would crowd around. <laughs> How does that feel? You comfortable? Yeah, and you crowd around, and then eventually somebody would call an ambulance. So that's what happened at Bayshore. They called an ambulance. And the second time was Escalator, right? Uh, maybe, yeah, I can't remember really. Yeah, I've been kicked out of so much shit, man. I've been kicked out of so much shit. I appreciate you guys coming to my show tonight, man. It's really cool that you came, and, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a great night, and uh, it was great to be here at the Center Point Theater. And, uh, you know, I think you guys just got to keep rocking it, man. Mm -hmm. Keep doing your thing. And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll, you're in an interesting time right now. You got YouTube, you've got the internet, you can put your video out there. Yep. The, the, you know, maybe you want to go talk to the people down at Rogers Cable. I volunteered there for a while. Yeah, go talk to them. I think they're connected with TVB. So yeah. Go don't... talk to the people down at Rogers. And... They're good people. Yeah. Maybe you guys do a show down there or something like that. Maybe. Yeah. I pitched my show before. Yeah. That was three years ago, though, so I've improved since then, yeah. of course. And try to stay off the meth. Yes, meth is bad. Yeah. Meth is very bad. Yeah. Yeah, just stay off the methamphetamines. Yeah, I haven't slept in 24 hours because I've been trying to come up with questions, but I haven't even asked you the questions that I've been asking. Well, these have been great questions, and this has been a good little conversation. It doesn't feel like questions. Like you said, it's a conversation. That's a, good, that's a sign of a good interview. Oh, Thanks, okay. man. Thanks, Tom. I'm going to go get some sleep myself. i got a big show in Belleville tomorrow. Wow. You guys better go. Go to TomGreen.com. Follow us on the web, TomGreen.com. Come see me live on tour. Did you have fun at the show tonight? It was awesome. Awesome. Thanks, guys. The Mike on a Mike show is the number one show in Ottawa. Uh, you got to watch this thing, man. It's the number one show in Ottawa on the nightclub scene. Uh, if you want to know what's going on in the city, if you like shows that have T-shirts uh, surrounding have the show, uh, I have T-shirts for my show. You've got to. Yes, I would like a T-shirt. Yeah. Would you like it off one of our backs? No, no. I'd like a fresh one. Do you have a fresh one? Would I be able to give that to you another time? Yeah, send it to me. Send it to you, like fax it. Yeah, fax me one. A copy. Yeah. Yeah. So you live in LA, eh? Yes, I do. I live in LA, yeah. How's that? It's good. It's pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. What does LA stand for? Oh, I'm starting to see why this guy got kicked out of school. <laughs> Back to you in the studio. Bam! He's a TV host just like me. He was making shows in the 613. To watch Mike and a Mike show .ca. <laughs>